Hello everyone. Welcome to Kidak Thane. Everything in this world is labeled with two basic parts. For example, north, south, up, down, above, below, etc. So, which and what is making this difference? There should be a line drawn, right? that line shows the difference that it is the upper part and this is the lower part today in our topic we are also going to discuss about such line which separate the earth as north and south called equator equator is an imaginary line around the earth that goes exactly midway between north and the south pole and divides it into two equal halves northern hemisphere and southern hemisphere it is also perpendicular to earth's axis which is another imaginary line made by drawing a straight line from north pole to the south pole the equator runs through 13 countries the exact location of the equator on the map is called latitude 0 degree who invented the equator no one because it is just a line on map it is believed that a team of french explorers mapped it in 1736 the equator is 40075 km long although we think of earth as a perfect sphere or ball it's not quite spherical it is slightly flatter at the equator This is called equatorial bulge. It means the earth's diameter is longest at the equator where it is 12756 km. This is about 43 km longer than the diameter between the two poles. It is created by the outward force by earth's rotation. The same force which pushes us outward when we go on merry-go-round. Gravity is slightly weaker along the equator because of the equatorial bulge. That's why equator is the ideal place to launch rockets into space because it uses less energy to push the rocket away from earth. The sun passes directly over the equator twice a year in March and September. When the sun is directly above the equator All the latitudes will have 12 hours day and 12 hours night. And the sunrise and sunset are the fastest on equator. It takes only few minutes to go from dark to light and light to dark. We have some contradictory pair of facts too. Parts of earth lies on equator make both the areas with world's greatest concentration of natural biodiversity and also the human poverty. Almost half of the world's rainforest are located on the equator in just 3 countries Brazil, Congo and Indonesia. Not only equator, we have few more imaginary lines to discuss with that we will see in some other video. Hope you all enjoyed today's video. If you like our video, please like, share and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.